Hey, what's up? Look, look, if you're watching this video, I mean, you have a problem. Okay, if you're watching this video, I mean, you have a problem. That problem is beard dandruff. And I'm going to tell you my top three ways to fix beard dandruff. So, let's roll the intro. Also, it is uh, like 11 o'clock or 11.30 midnight, so I'm tired, so silly. All right, check it out. So the first thing when it comes to dandruff, beard dandruff is a real thing. It just comes from dry skin underneath the beard. So it means you are not properly hydrating your beard. So I'm gonna show you my way of doing it and you can do this with anything you want. It's not about what you use, it's about how you use it, how consistently you use it. So the key to this is key. The key to this is consistency. Consistency is key. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start out with is a oil. This is the Morning Tiger Oil from Nano Gold. Focus in on that, hold that focus, there we go, right? This is what I like to use, or well, one of the things I like to use. I like to use a number of things from Netagold because it's it's my company, so I have access to a lot of it. But an oil, so fresh out the shower, my beard is nice and moist. Boom, I'll apply some oil to it, right? This is this is a nighttime thing for me. I like to use oil at night, right? So what it does is it really locks in that moisture because the dry skin underneath is simply coming from a lack of moisture. It means your beard is dry, your skin is dry, and it's flaking up, right? If you can't take a comb to your beard, Without danger falling down, that means that your skin underneath is dry. It means you did not properly hydrate your beard last night, this morning, or right now. All right, the next thing I like to keep in mind, keep in mind, geez. One thing about me, when I get tired, my cognitive abilities to pronounce words goes down drastically. All right, so if you ever hear me stumbling over words a lot more than usual, it means that I'm tired, I'm sleepy, and I just didn't get enough. I need to go to bed, but that's not your problem. That's mine. So... Let's talk about Gerzel. Gerzel, all right? This is, again, this is one of our products here. You don't need this one specifically, but you know, I recommend it, it's nice. But it's a butter. Now this is a butter that has oils inside of it as well, right? So you wanna have a combination when it comes to a butter. You wanna combo a butter with some oil, with some essential oils to attack a bunch of different things. But the main thing about this is it locks in moisture as well. It locks in moisture stronger, in my opinion, than oil does. Now people like to ask, why do I like to use oil over uh, butter at night? And simply because I like the oil, right, to be on my beard. And then when I'm rolling my face around in the in the, in the pillowcase or whatever, you know, it's it's not a lot of oil left in the morning, so I can apply some butter on top. If I apply butter at night, right, what's going to happen is that butter may hold in any dirt, grime, or spider eggs that like to lay themselves around my face. That's my personal way of doing it. Scientifically proven, no. It's just I just don't want the thickness of the butter. I want the butter throughout the day, okay? That's just me. You, you do you. Let me do me. All right, now the last thing though, this is one of our myths. This is Bayou, right? So this mist right here, I like to keep in my pocket throughout the day. I spritz when needed. When my beard starts to feel dry, I make sure I spray some of it on and massage it in, right? It's like running to the bathroom, throwing on some water, throwing on some oil, and moving out. This is the same thing, just spray, spray, boom, you look less creepy and you smell even better. That's my way of getting rid of beard dandruff. That's why I do not have beard dandruff because I make sure my beard is always moisturized and locked down. So I say all that to you and say, I hope this three minutes and 26 seconds was useful to you. And it, you know, cause it's, it's a question I keep getting about beard dandruff. It's like, Mike, how can I fix my beard dandruff? Well, I, dryness, you, you, you gotta undry the beard. Dandruff is nothing but dry skin underneath, so take care of the skin. One thing that I dislike the most when it comes to people that use oils or butters on their beard or their hair, is what they do is they just focus on the hair itself. So what they'll do is they'll put some oil in, right? I haven't taken a shower yet, so I'm not gonna, not waste any product, but just bear with me here. They take the oil, they rub it in, and just put it right here and call it a day, that's it. So all the oil is right there on the hair, and the hair looks beautiful, it's glistening, it smells amazing, but they never massage it into the skin itself. You cannot, you, you can't moisturize the skin if you don't massage it in there. You gotta massage it in. Same thing with the hair. Just putting butter on top of your hair does nothing. Oil on top of your hair does nothing. I get to the roots, run it all the way down, run it all the way down, run it all the way down, and then massage it in so that the scalp and the skin is being treated properly. So of course here at Nettle Gold, my main thing is focusing on your skin. I don't really care too much about your hair. I'm focused on the skin. And what happens with good skin, good hair. Look at me, obviously. But I digress. Also, this is a bonus tip here. So I guess tip number four, right? Keep a brush. This is a sisal brush. We sell these. If you want to use a boar hair brush, that's fine as well. It's up to you, whatever. No judge. But keep a brush. It helps you get rid of any of those dead skin cells that are there, right? Because you got to exfoliate as well. One of the things, exfoliation is key. 
If you don't want to use a skin scrub, which is also very important, that's a whole nother video, and I'll talk about that later, but you want to use a brush to get rid of any dead skin cells, all right? Get rid of any of that, help exfoliate the skin. So when you exfoliate the skin, it makes the skin more susceptible to absorbing the oils that you need, all right? Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments below of this amazing video. I would say I would love to, I'm going to sleep, but I'm not because I have work to do. Just took a break to record this video, so. See ya. Misdirection.